Coming your way on today's San Francisco 49ers report, what is the future of Javon Kinlaw? Will the Niners keep him or will they cut him prior to 2023? We'll dive into that, but first, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have some work to do to get to 100,000 subscribers, but when we get there, YouTube going to send us that plaque and we're going to celebrate and have a party right here on the program. 18,445 people away from reaching that milestone, and as we look forward, there are reasons to be excited about our coverage and this football team. They're locked and loaded to try to make another run at a six Lombardi trophy. And for our coverage, you can expect training camp updates as training camp gets underway on July 25th. Anytime breaking news happens, we're going to go in detail and give it to you very quickly. Watch parties are also on the horizon for the preseason and every regular season game. We'll do some live shows daily content on the Niners. So if you're looking for all of this and year-round talk about the Niners, hit that sub button. And with that, let's start the show. All right, today's San Francisco 49ers report is presented by Manscaped. Join the 8 million men who trust Manscaped with the best men's grooming products. 20% off and free shipping for the faithful at manscaped.com slash 49ers. So what is Javon Kinlaw's future? The former 2020 first round pick out of South Carolina has been very disappointing up to this point. And in three seasons, he has barely had any contributions to the San Francisco 49ers on the field and this is really the summary of his tenure in the bay area 14th pick in that 2020 draft several picks later the niners able to knock that selection out of the park with brandon Ayuk, who i still think is the most underrated wide receiver in the nfl and one of the best kinlaw has played a total of 24 games in three years not ideal not what you're looking for from a guy who you drafted so high and the Niners declined his fifth-year option. So this is going to be the final year of his rookie deal, and that tells me they don't really have any interest in extending him, him being a part of this organization for the long term, and they obviously have concerns about the continued injury issues. Here's what Kinlaw has been able to do over his first three years, or really what he hasn't been able to do. In 2020, as a rookie, the COVID year, 14 games played, one and a half sacks, four quarterback hits, really the highlight, that touchdown return against the Los Angeles Rams. So weird to think back to that, right, when no fans were in the stands during that 2020 season. And then in 2021, a lot of knee issues, only plays four games because of that, and you're thinking, okay, after an injury plague season, can he finally put it together? Can he finally stay on the field in 2022? Not able to do that. Knee issues once again as he got that ACL reconstructed the year prior and only played six games. So you're looking at a player here who you're paying a decent amount of money to as that former first-round pick. And in 24 games throughout his career, he's only been able to tally a total of two sacks, five quarterback hits, three tackles for loss, and 45 complete tackles. And up to this point for him... He's been able to make some dough, right? Pretty interesting story for him. Was able to buy his first house last offseason, I believe it was. His career earnings, nearly $13 million. Great job by you, Javon Kinlaw, because you certainly earned that with the work that you put in throughout your entire football life. 2023 base salary, $2.7 million, and a cap hit this upcoming season of 4.9 mil. So if the Niners were to cut... Javon Kinlaw, they would have to eat that $4.9 million. And a big question here for Kinlaw's status for this particular team as we look ahead to the upcoming season, what is Kinlaw's spot in this defensive line rotation? Because this Niners defensive line, it could be one of the better units in the NFL. Nick Bosa, the reigning defensive player of the year, you made that big free agency splash and Javon Kinlaw coming off the season in which he had 11 sacks for the Philadelphia Eagles. Eric Armstead certainly has a lot of potential. I think his impact goes further than what the numbers have indicated. Monster season, pivotal season. Coming up for Drake Jackson has to show up because if he doesn't, I think Nick Bosa could suffer because of that. You have Cleveland Furl as a backup, who I do think can be very solid in Chris Kosarek's defensive line system. 
But look, you need more production opposite of Nick Bosa. And if you get that production from Kinlaw here, who's going to be the backup to Javon Kinlaw, that will certainly, uh, Hargrave, excuse me, that will help your defensive line depth and your overall production in keeping all of these players here on your screen healthy, upright, and energized throughout the course of a very arduous NFL season. Now, coming up next on the show, we're going to tackle this question. What is Kinlaw's future? Is he going to get cut? Is he going to stay on this team? We'll dive into the latest 49ers rumors and news, but first, let me open up the floor here. Will Kinlaw be on the 49ers in 2023? Type on the roster or off the roster? I want you to let me know down below. We'll get to that right around the corner, but first, how about our friends at Manscaped Manscaped continuing to crush the game. You can get 20% off and free shipping on the best men's grooming products at manscaped.com slash 49ers, the lawnmower 4.0, nose hair trimmer, crop reserver, ball deodorant because nobody wants their balls to be stinky, and the Manscaped boxer briefs, the most comfortable boxer briefs that I've literally ever worn. I can run in those, wear them to work a lot. The Performance Package 4.0 really does have everything that you need to prepare that summer bod. They have built the ultimate grooming bundle for your summer grooming. Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, battery life that lasts forever, interchangeable blades, safeguard technology so you don't cut yourself up down there. And if you want the perfect haircut, Manscaped can give you that below the waist, but also they have these new beard products, which I clearly need, but they are fantastic. Producer Trudy Chase has certainly been able to use those over time. We're going to put this link in the comment section and in the description of this video. I like how versatile these products are as well, just like Christian McCaffrey, like Debo Samuel, and you can look fresh like those two with Manscaped today because your significant other doesn't want you having that George W. Bush down below the belt. Manscaped.com slash 49ers, promo code 49ers for 20% off. So let's continue this conversation here with Kinlaw. What's unfortunate, he has a lot of ability when he's on the field and he can demand a lot of attention when he's in between the lines actually playing because this dude is a mountain of a man. Physically, he's built in a very special way. It's almost as if he was built in a lab. Unfortunately, though, his knees haven't held up. And the problem that I have, the concern that I have as we look ahead, big guy, a lot of weight, a lot of size. Are the knee issues going to get any better? Oftentimes, they get worse as you get a little bit older. Now, I do want to relay this snippet here from Matt Mayoko on the 49ers Talk podcast. He was talking about Ken Law, and he said, I think Ken Law is going to be on the team. I think he'll be a rotational player as long as he can stay healthy. I think he'll play 20 to 35 snaps per game. Basically, he's on a one-year deal. This is the final year of his contract. It's a make-or-break season. I think he'll have to have a huge season in order to get a multi-year contract with any team in the NFL for next year. Lastly, I don't think they do anything with Kinlaw other than let him go out there and play and see if he can make a big contribution to the team. So I think Kinlaw, it's safe to say that Kinlaw might be on this team, might be on this roster for 2023. But in 2024, I do not see Kinlaw being on this football team. When it comes to Javon Kinlaw's roster status for 2023, I think Javon Kinlaw is going to be on this Niners team this upcoming season. The Niners would have to eat $4.9 million if they cut him. If Javon Kinlaw is healthy, I think he's going to make the squad. If Javon Kinlaw is hurt yet again, and his first three years have really been highlighted, unfortunately, by all of these injuries, I think that you have to cut Kinlaw. I think you have to cut the fat if he's not able to be on the field as a contributing member to this team. Eat that $4.9 million. Use those financial resources to somebody else who can actually get on the field and impact what is expected to be one of the best defenses in the NFL here in 2023. And whether he's on the team this year or not, my prediction, Javon Kinlaw will not be a San Francisco 49er in 2024. I think the Niners are very concerned about his injury history. The lack of production has certainly been troublesome. And it's just time to move on from what has been a very disappointing era. And when you fail to really do much at all in your first three years of your NFL career as a former first-round pick, sometimes it's best to just put that misfire in the draft in the rear view and look ahead to the future as to how you can build and better your football team. So one word to describe Javon Kinlaw is what? I'm going to say bust, because up to this point, 
He has been a bust. If you want to interact with me on Twitter and Instagram, feel free to do so. I'm on there, at Chase underscore Senior. Tweet out every single show, clips to the show, also big into health, wealth, fitness, all that stuff. So whatever you want to do, hit me up. Whatever you want to talk about, open forum. Slide in the DMs. Don't be a stranger. And before we hop on out of here, for those of you who watch the program a lot, you know that Evan Henders is a loyal viewer of the San Francisco 49ers report. He sent me a very nice letter a few months ago. Very kind words. I appreciate that, Evan. But then he just topped that. He sent a couple of hosts here at Chat Sports some NFL cards, player cards, for some of the hosts who cover specific teams. For instance, Mitchell Renz, the Raiders report. He got a Raiders card. Harrison Graham, Bears now. He got some Bears cards. Marshall Green got Lawrence Taylor and Saquon Barkley as the host of New York Giants now. And Evan sent me a couple of Niners cards. So I want to give him a shout out and show these cards here. You have the great Nick Bosa. Awesome. This could be worth some money at some point down the line. You have Jimmy Garoppolo, controversial figure among the faithful. And then you have Richard Sherman. His time in the Bay was certainly short, but very impactful. 2019, he was a member of that defense that took the league by fire and made it to the Super Bowl. So, Evan Henders, we appreciate you, brother, for watching the show, supporting the show, but being so kind and sending us here at Chat Sports some cards here. We do appreciate that. Everybody type EH down in the chat to show him some love, and we'll catch you next time here on the show.